hello to all my friends out there. So, I don't know if you guys have ever seen these, but I have never seen these. These are 10 chicken patties from Walmart, and they are uh, $5, so 50 cents each. So, it's almost 10 o'clock, and I'm finally getting around to eating dinner, so I'm really hungry. So, I took these from the frozen state. Ooh, yummy. These smell good if you've never tried them. I decided to fry mine in a little oil because it's too hot to bake and I figured they would taste better than the microwave. So I have two, two pieces of, of uh, Swiss cheese. I bought at Walmart and I want to melt my Swiss cheese. Okay, in my refrigerator I have a variety of cheese, sliced cheese, various cheeses. And I have various um, lunch meats for sandwiches because for lunch I want to make sandwiches and a fruit or a vegetable. For breakfast, I, if I eat breakfast, I want to eat, ooh, my sandwiches are looking good. I want to eat cereal and milk. So I want to make a sizable sandwich because I'm very hungry. And so um, I, I'm trying to find bread half price and guess what? I can't find it. So I might have to buy Walmart bread. I'm being incredibly cheap. Okay, on the Dave Hodges show, he reported that in Britain there's protests uh, and they're protesting uh, Prince Andrew, you know, for the, the Epstein thing. It is my opinion that anything that keeps our minds off of the economy, be it the coronavirus, being it the pedophilia, is a distraction and a welcome distraction. If you are poor, and if you are following me, you want to say to yourself, can I, inv can I survive a famine? And you want to do everything you possibly can do right now to avoid a famine. This is going to be good, you guys. So my meat is a dollar. I like to eat two meals per day, but I might not get around to it. It's pretty late. I, I'm working a lot. I have stuff to do. So, this will do. And with this sandwich, I will have some... barbecue sauce. That will be good. Now, so I want a sandwich and I want a fruit or I want a small salad. So I'm having a fruit. Generally, I don't like fruit, but you know, I have a banana that needs to be eaten. Okay, so now let me try this. I've never tried these chicken patties. If I hate them, I'm going to tell you guys I totally and completely hate it. But just to let you know, they smell, look. Mmm, they smell really good, you guys. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And it's cheap, a dollar. The bread was two cents each. I bought half price. I love it. I can barely resist gobbling the whole thing down because I'm so hungry. So now, just because I'm having a banana, I want to have something good. I want my meals. What I want to do is I want to find meals now that I can survive on in the event that things go down south. In the event that money becomes very, very tight, I want to encourage all of my followers I don't care how poor you are. 
Go to the food banks. Go to the food pantries. Get welfare. Collect cans. Do whatever you have to do and get your house stockpile full of food now. So I want to make like a banana split. But I want to make an inexpensive banana split because, you know, I'm trying to conserve my money. But I want to make a tasty dessert. So then, and then what I'm going to do with this dessert after I make it is I am going to slip it into the refrigerator, the freezer and freeze it. And then I will eat it later. So I have, I bought this for 50 cents. So I want a lot. Well, might as well have the whole thing. I'm going to freeze it. It's going to be frozen yogurt. So what I want to do, I want to invent some good desserts. And then I have some chocolate syrup. And I just want to put that pretty much on my banana. So this is going to be a pretty good little dessert for me. Okay, you guys, consider this one. This one looks pretty good. Okay, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.